um, this is your first time on my live, just say first. Um, if you if you did a minute ago, then I didn't get it. But um, you know, if this is your first time, just say first. As I mentioned earlier, it helped me to kind of judge my audience. You know, if there are people on here who's always been on my live, then um, okay, first, thank you, first, chocolate, okay, okay. Why I'm um, get 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 guessing you're saying that's first. Um, just want to see a few people say first, so then I know how to kind of gear the conversation. But on this live first, oh, perfect, good, good, good. So most of you are. My good friend Stacy is on here. She's almost on all the lives. One of my biggest supporters. We're like sisters, TikTok sisters. I have a few TikTok sisters and brothers um, that come on and join the live on a regular basis. Um, okay, hey, from New Jersey. Well, welcome, you guys. If this is your first time on my live, if you are not following me, please go follow. Um, I am the self-proclaimed smoothie queen um, and I believe in using foods to cure your body. That's what I believe. And if you believe that you can use foods to help cure your body or be your medicine, go ahead and tap that screen. I won't tap it, but you guys tap it. Um, and tapping it just, you know, is a like. That's how you do it if you, you know, don't know. So go ahead and follow me. And then we talk, we focus on my chant page or here, whatever you would call it on TikTok. We focus on um chronic diseases such as high blood pressure high blood sugar diabetes yeah my sister from trinidad yes you're my sister from trinidad um good evening Kay. how are you my friend um you know people who have these chronic diseases and we use the smoothies to help to cure treat your body cure your body prevent these diseases and when we talk about smoothies sometimes people kind of you know, I don't know, smoothie, oh my God, that's going to spike my blood sugar. The one thing I will say about the smoothies that I make, I try, well, we never add any sweeteners. Um, soup, subby, new subby. Um, hi, Lynn Mans, how are you? Thank you for um, um, following. I'm guessing that's what you're saying. Hi, just got here. Hey there, BB, just started. Um, so if you're the first time here and you just come in, if you just put first time, which most of you seem like this is your first time here on my live. Um, and so, you know, we focus on people with chronic diseases and this is the next question that I would ask because that's going to help me to judge my audience as well. If you have a chronic disease, um, you know, that's the medical terminology. Got my turmeric on Monday. Oh, awesome. Have you tried it yet? Um, and we'll talk about this. This is, you know, my product right here. Turmeric with black pepper, um, beets and ginger. Um, I will, we'll talk about that in a minute, but yeah, so go with like someone just said diabetes, right? So if you have diabetes, just, you know, type it. if you have high blood pressure, say high blood pressure. If you have high cholesterol, if you, you know, obesity, or if you want to just say trying to lose some weight, you know, whatever, just type that there. So yes, I have every day all sins. And what do you put it in, BB? Um, I know migraine seizures. Oh, wow. Wow. High blood pressure, high blood pressure. Um, rheumatoid arthritis. Yes. This baby right here. First time, nice to come across this information. Bless you. Oh, bless you as well. Thank you so much trying to lose weight. Okay. Um, um, high blood pressure. Okay. So I tried mine. Kind of spicy. Yes, it is kind of spicy. Remember, you guys, you need the black pepper in the turmeric to... Um, thank you, love. You need the black pepper in the turmeric to help with its absorption, right? What's happening here? Um... So that's why it's going to be a little spicy. Now, if you can't take that gingery taste, um, what I do recommend, high blood pressure carpal tunnel. Okay, we'll talk about those. May, it seems like a lot of people in here have high blood pressure, diabetes, high blood pressure. So, and just, you know, keep it coming. If you're just coming in and you have any chronic disease, if you just kind of type it, if you say high blood pressure, I like it though. Okay, put it in your smoothies, right? So in, in what a couple of people are talking about, if we can just jump straight into it. The product that I have here is a product that I spend some time to come up with some ingredients that's going to help you all with these chronic diseases that we have, right? We're talking about mainly high blood pressure, pre-diabetic high blood pressure, trying to eat a lot of ginger, garlic, no carbs. We all eat carbohydrates and you don't want to completely cut out carbohydrate, but I, I guess I get it, right? Minimize your carb. 
ginger has carbs in it it has fiber right so my goal is to educate people so even if you're doing these things just at least you'll know what you're doing right you won't say if you know someone say no carbs you can't survive without carbohydrate that is one thing that i will tell you most foods that we eat except for meat is going to have carbohydrate in it recommend taking it um what i do recommend doing this you all in the mornings so let's talk about this i have migraines all day oh you have it all day today yeah i've been in trouble rheumatoid arthritis so a lot of people are talking about this rheumatoid arthritis turmeric if you say itis bronchitis arthritis chronic sinusitis colitis even asthma you know these chronic um inflammation inflammatory inflammatory diseases um you know you keep getting the cold and the flu someone messaged me today and says white flour white sugar okay yeah so yeah fruits all fruits and vegetables are carbohydrates so just so you know you know why when you make those you know when you when you're doing what you're doing just so you know but yeah white flour white sugar let's talk about the white bleach starch right so for so those itis Nine times out of 10, it's inflammation in your body that causes these itis, you guys. And I will say I was diagnosed, and I don't even know if they really knew, with um, arthritis in my knee. I've been an avid runner my whole life, really, as long as I can remember, right? And I had surgery on my knee in college, kept running, still run to this day. You know, in my early 30s, doctor, I've just the pain was there. It would just never go away. Even after surgery, they're saying, okay, looks like you're developing arthritis because it's inflammation of the joint. That's what it is. Overuse, right? Running for 30 something years or whatever at that time. And that's when I decided to do some research to find out what are some of the things, because I don't want to stop running, that I can do to help my body to rid inflammation? Is there any cure for arthritis? Is there any treatment for arthritis? And that's when I came across turmeric, you all. And this was, again, it's probably been about 15 years ago or more, right? That's when I came across turmeric. And I started using turmeric and I can honestly say the only night like, last month I started having a little bit of pain in my knee and that's because my honey and I we ran almost every day we either hike there one we hike 12 miles or something like that I think it was one day I went out and ran eight miles we're running at least three miles a day almost every day I don't recommend that and then you know of course it's gonna flare up whatever in old injury I have or what have you but I swear by turmeric, you all. So if you have the rheumatoid arthritis, if you have bronchitis, if you have asthma, um, the inflammation in your body, then we talk about high blood pressure. And that's when I came up with the beets, you all. Beets is going to aid in lowering your blood pressure, right? The nitrate in these rooty vegetables like rutabaga, beetroot, turnips, the nitrate is going to aid in lowering your blood pressure having inflammation in your blood and in your system is some of the main causes you guys of these chronic diseases so just imagine you hear people talk about like mucus or whatever i'm imagining that's what they're talking about um so, yes sciatica it will definitely so if you go to my website you guys that's how you can purchase i know someone just asked go to my website it's barrett dot fitness then go to shop and then it's this right here. It's the turmeric with beets and um, black pepper and beets. There's a turmeric mix. I'm not sure what I called it on the website. It's simple. Or you can click on my photo up here, my image. Then when it comes up, click on it again. There's a link in my bio that will take you to it. So let's see. B-A-R-R-E-T-T -T dot fitness, F-I-T-N-E-S-S. -S, and then go to shop that's um that's the website right there um or, right and then go to shop and that's how you purchase it you all so i put it in powdered form and it's gonna make it more readily you know go to your bloodstream a little bit more readily some people will ask about the black pepper right um plantar fasciitis is that what you're, you're talking about inflammation Plant, I'm thinking that's what you're talking about. Um, pen plantier. I'm thinking you're talking about plantar fasciitis. I'm guessing that's and um, makes Devin makes the vegan one. Are you male or female? Because we're going to talk about plantar fasciitis. Because again, as a runner, you guys will probably imagine at some point 
I had plantar fasciitis. That's, and that's why I know this terminology, right? It's inflammation. I had it in, um, in my heel, right? And it's inflammation. And a lot of times, you guys, you're 41 or you're female. Are you standing on your feet quite a bit? Um, must be my aunt. We have the same last name, Barrett. Oh, are you Jamaican? Where are you from? Um, diabetes. Yes, it will help. Which and the, so the powdered form of the beets is a little bit different if you just eat beet. Beet juice. You don't want to sit around all day and drink beet juice, right? Because if you have high, di, high blood sugar, diabetes, then it's it could spike your blood sugar. Now, if you have these issues, right, then you want to make sure that you're tracking them on a daily basis, right? Um, I have that right now. Plantar fasciitis. Yes. Yes, my family is from Jamaica. Oh, okay. Right? So plantar fasciitis, I am sure it will aid it will aid in, in just preventing some of the symptoms, some of the, and getting rid of some of the inflammation, right? And again, that's like one of those terminologies, unless you're standing on your feet or your athlete or whatever, a lot of people probably don't know a kitchen manager. I would imagine you're standing quite a bit. First of all, you have to get to the root cause. Standing all day long and you make sure you're wearing comfortable shoes. If the shoes that you're wearing is not comfortable, these are the things that's going to cause. Is it in your heel or in the ball of your foot? Um, that you have the plantar fasciitis and I had it it was in my heel again and again I discovered turmeric you all and I've never then it lasted for me for about a year um, in both your heel yeah yeah it's gonna right these bony parts it's inflammation and in your in your, you know your heel it's inflammation um, and you're gonna make sure you wear comfortable shoes you got to get down to the root cause and sit down whenever you possibly can but the turmeric will certainly help with the inflammation um, I'm telling you guys go look it up if you don't believe me there have been so many studies on turmeric and people don't uh, believe or understand or thinking I'm trying to come up with some you know heal and arch yes for sure first yeah those are the, the place you will have Nikki if you have it as well and what's your story Nikki are you on your feet a lot quite a bit as well do you have the plantar fasciitis as well um, um, lymphedemia tell me exactly what that is so I put it in water um, you know if you don't like the little kick that it has with the ginger and the black pepper I recommend putting it in um, your smoothies you can put it in your coffee you can put it in your tea you can put it in your smoothies you can put just a spoonful of water that's how my honey and I have been doing it again you guys go to barrett.fitness if you want to get yours I think it's 160 that's left because I didn't know how they were gonna sell so you know I'm go get it before they're sold out I've sold over a hundred right here on TikTok, right mine is from standing and walking right and that will cause it you guys remember people like you know something like this will help you but you still have to get down to the root cause and I know a lot of our jobs you know my job is one of those where there are times when I could be standing all day even at home you know I'm on my feet a lot or whatever but you gotta swelling of the limbs excess fluid so you might want to go check that out. And that could be diabetes, right? The excess fluid could be diabetes. Um, and can we say that again, Prisha? <laughs> um, right? So you might want to go to high rolls, go to your doctor and check it out. I'm so sorry, Stacey. We're going to get to Trinidad, Stacey. We're going to get to Trinidad. We're going to save one of these for you. And I'm going to hand it to you personally. That's why Stacey's saying it's not fair. Um, so if you guys are enjoying this conversation or, you know, this live so far, if you just tap your screen, please. Um, so this is 60 servings, you all. 60 servings. And I'm going to show you. If you're not following me, guys, you, you know, go follow me. And, you know there's some more information check this out that's what you get when you mix beets and turmeric you all look at this I am taking the second jar um, I bought to my sister oh cool good Rose very good um, does she have arthritis or anything like that Rose um, yeah so Rose got two Rose is my neighbor so I literally handed them to her <laughs> um, but thank you Rose um, and you said you put it in sparkling water I'm having a feeling okay good that that may be interesting so I can't deliver to Trinidad I, I'm sorry you guys the international only US and Canada it's gonna cost you probably twice the amount if you want to pay for the extra shipping direct message me and I'll you know mail you one but it's the shipping is gonna cost more than the product you know so just so you know um, but look at this baby right here there is 60 servings um, it says it right there if you guys can maybe you can see that 60 servings all you do you guys is put one scoop 
there we go in your favorite beverage hi there winnie how are you um i'm about slightly high cholesterol right and uh, barrett.fitness is the website you all Bar b a r r e t t dot fitness f i t n e s s and you will see a picture of me like laying down in the blue or something like that that's how you know that's me um ingredients raw from how to use them hi if i have the ingredients uh if oh shit sorry i don't know what i just did here if i have the ingredients in raw for both do i use them yes of course if you have turmeric in raw if you have beets in raw you have ginger in raw you have black pepper in raw of course just make sure i just put it for convenience for a lot of people you guys before we did this you know for those of you guys the roses that's here and the winnies and the stacy's you guys know if you go on my website you'll see my smoothie recipe ebook as well you want to go buy your ingredients and do it raw for me this is like a backup right we've been doing smoothies for months so in the mornings now i just put a scoop of this in my water and i go and you know on days when i don't really feel like making the smoothie or i'm in a rush or whatever um but you know rose that hopefully you know your sister it will you know will like it um i'm doing good winnie i'm doing good um today i added lemon to it i used for my frother to mix it oh how was it with lemon that's a gross you're creative i like your style girl um uh, how was it with lemon i'm curious um but to, to, yes today we put it in our smoothies we made the berries um i do the smoothie exactly the smoothie is probably the best way to do it um delicious perfect with lemon awesome um so yeah the smoothie is probably the best way to do it so if you do like raspberries and strawberries maybe some purple cabbage and then you do a scoop of this maybe a handful of almonds or something like that um i did that um i did uh, that recipe i think yesterday that i'll i'll post for you guys tomorrow um but you know put it in your smoothies you all if you have high blood pressure it will work you guys and i'm telling you is you have to and if you're on high blood pressure medication you need to be careful right uh, oh thank you winnie i appreciate that you need to be careful if you have high blood pressure on medication right track your blood pressure every day if you're going to add something like this make sure you track yours you don't want your blood pressure to get too low right and i'm saying this as someone who have really low blood pressure and i know it's just the foods that i eat you know again the beetroot the rutabaga the turnips these ingredients are going to aid in lowering your blood pressure and then you make it into a into a, a smoothie and you make it a full meal right if you don't want to get um you know the smoothie mix or you know you're in in, in another country Go get the smoothie recipe ebook. Like someone was saying, they have the raw ingredients. Go get the smoothie recipe ebook. It's ebook. You guys can get that to wherever you are in the world if you know how to use a computer. People have to move to help with high blood pressure and cholesterol. Simple walk is great. And that is so true, Rose. That is so true, right? Again, I was keep saying you have to get down to the root cause of the issue to smoothie or doing both. Yeah, I no, I would put it in my smoothie right like i would put a scoop of it in my smoothie so like an example i gave Kay, i say if you're making berries like this is a smoothie that i, that I made for breakfast for us um today i did about five strawberries a handful of raspberries a handful of almonds um a tablespoon of flax seed um and some chopped purple cabbage and water and a scoop of this that's what i did right i didn't know you had your own product i just got the turmeric with black pepper you suggested this is new this is new you guys this is week number two you all and we're with um monday was one week so we're just going into the second week of me having this sammy um so you know if you want to go try it you go check it out you know even just to support you know um i would greatly appreciate it but the smoothie that was all over the counter the smoothie yes that's <laughs> yes you saw yes that's the one okay <laughs> it's the one you guys um well i went from skipping to running there you go stacy there you go just like you know rose was saying but you guys i made my smoothie this morning and i took a sip of it laid down on the counter and i guess you know you put lotion and stuff on your hand i'm trying to rush out to work and it flipped over all over the counter and it just sat there on the counter and i bent right over and i slurped it up because yes it was that good my smoothies are like gold 
right? <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, you know, I have we have helped my honey to lower his blood pressure with having a smoothie every day. We add these type these ingredients. The first set of smoothie on the smoothie recipe ebook that we got, you guys. You know, he, we were on it. We did it for 30 days every day, probably two months every single day. His blood pressure went from the 140s down to the one low, you know, one teens, 120, you know, over 60, right? And we continue to do this because for me, my blood pressure is usually low, 99, 110, uh, 120, maybe the highest I've seen it, over 60, 70, something like that. So I have to track my blood pressure on a regular. We both track our blood pressure on a regular basis and we both have very stressful lives. We do work hard 40, 50, 60 hours a week. He worked 2 million hours a week, it seems like, right? And we all have stress. Life hits you with something, you know? So we know that, you know, you're going to get the little, what you know, when you get that belly fat sometimes, you guys, it's stress that causes that, right? Stress raid raises the, 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 um, cortisol in your body by it's headed back to Nam Demon market this weekend. Oh, awesome, Sammy. Which one do you go to again? And are you in Ackworth? Um, are you in Ackworth? I think I'm the, I, I haven't seen you in a while, so I'm sure I'm, I'm wondering if you are the, the same person, right? Um, but we want to, even if you don't have high blood pressure, maintain it. That's why I always say, as you see in the title, let your food be your medicine, you guys. You know, a lot of people think that once you're on medication, I am trying to go to your site, but I can't find it. It's Barrett. Go click on here. You see this image right here. Click on that. Click on that and then the image will come up again. Click on that image and it will take you to my profile. Right above where you see my videos, there's a link. Z-E-Z -E -Z Barrett Fitness. Click on that link and the first thing you will see is right there where you can buy. Um, yeah, if you're allergic to turmeric, then you don't want to do it. Um, so my baby just checked his blood pressure. I'm telling you all, it went from in the 140s. 116? Over 63. Is that the lowest you've ever seen it? Mm -hmm. 116 over 63. We've been doing this for a couple of months, right? And he's sitting right over there. Right over there. He's live, I promise you. Rose have seen him, so she know he's live. <laughs> he's alive. <laughs> he's, he's a real person, um, right? Like, he stressful life. You went, he, you would tell you went to work this morning? Well, not this morning. It wasn't a good example. Most mornings, you're leaving at 5? Well, you get up at 5.30. Yeah, at 6. o'clock. Right, go to work at six o'clock. Sometimes doesn't come back home till ten o'clock at night. Right, and sometimes may not eat the greatest. So you're out there, you know, whatever. Some, you know, we try to eat as best as we can. Right. So the point I'm trying to make is, you guys, once you start, which smoothie does he use? All the smoothies that's in my smoothie recipe ebook. This week, all of this week, we've been doing this. A scoop of this in water. That's what we've been doing. So you know, if you go, does he still? Nope. Not on medication. We decided we're going to take our lives into our own hands. You're never on medication for high blood pressure, were you, babe? Never, never, never on medication. You know, one day we'll, we'll you know, he'll be brave enough to come on here. <laughs> Not today, though. Uh, but never been on medication, right? So once you see where you, your blood pressure is elevated, right? The 140s, I'm sure I've seen 150 or something like that one time. And we're like, babe, we're going to get this in check right? We start drinking more water. Make sure we get as much rest as we possibly can. Um, all smoothies work. All of them will work to lower your blood pressure because you're starting to introduce foods into your body and you're going to eliminate some of the processed foods, right? We did breakfast we, for a whole month. Our breakfast was a smoothie. That's what he did, a smoothie. We, we all did it. You know, I think Rose did it and um, a couple of people that on here, um, you know, did it and 116 over what you said baby 63. 63 that's the end that's that is the end of a long day of work i think you left here today around eight or so to go to work and came back home at probably 7 p.m right and yes it's that lifestyle where she's gonna hit you life's gonna happen you have to work right you have to do this you have to get kids to take care of all this other stuff but you got to, like Rose said, get your ass up and move, number one. Even a simple walk, like she says, right? Get up and move, at least, and start introducing foods like turmeric and beets and ginger. 
and some of the other stuff that I use like um, flaxseed. Come on, help me here, Rose, with some of the ingredients that are in the smoothie and Stacy. Yes, Stacy lost so much weight, right? So not only are these things, Stacy went from 200 and something pounds, Stacy, to 140 or 130 something or something like that, right? From skipping rope. And then she converted from skipping rope. You guys, tap your screen and like, just so we can and at least get one other person into this conversation. You may be saving, you know, saving somebody's life. Been to the office every day for the last week and this week. Life happens. It happens, right? Um, I did the smoothie with kiwi and my blood pressure was the best it's ever been. There you go. Right. And again, you are when we come on live, I have never solicited one person to give their testimony, period, ever. So Stacy's saying she's lost weight. I didn't even tell my baby to check his blood pressure right now. We're sitting here and he just thought of it. I didn't even know he was doing it. Right. Probably the lowest his blood pressure has ever been. 116 over 60 coming from 140s, 150s, those numbers. Right. Um, I did the smooth rice and then Sammy's saying I did the smoothies with the kiwi my blood pressure was the best it's ever been and people are thinking oh I can't have fruits berries oh I can't you can have a little bit of kiwi you have to just be careful with what you're putting in your body apple cider vinegar right those are the things that we added to the smoothie flax seed chia seeds pumpkin seeds apple cider vinegar purple cabbage beetroot hibiscus these are the things that we put in our smoothies you guys and helping people to lose weight lower their blood pressure lower their cholesterol right you can use your food to cure your body was 300 and now she's 145 Yes, thank you so much, Winnie. Right. Hi there, Antoinette. I see you place your order this afternoon, Antoinette. Um, is that correct? And we just want to make sure. Even Antoinette is on here. Antoinette can, can tell you her story. She emailed me yesterday, and I need to start taking pictures of these things and posting them online unsolicited. And, and um, Antoinette, she can tell me her story. We did the smoothie challenge, and Antoinette was one of the first people to get on there. Yep, there you go, Rose. These are the things we use chia seed flax seed moringa unsweetened coconut sunflower seed almonds rutabaga these are the things that we put into our smoothies yeah congratulations to rose is 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 for real though now i mean to stacy um told my friend either a smoothie a day or medication for the rest of your life there you go okay there you go right and you guys our smoothies are not like some of these others and not to um burdock moringa iris sea moss all good yep all good sea moss is another thing you all and if you're looking for a really good sea moss the link is in my bio as well we use sea moss in a couple of the smoothies as well um and there's one that i use that come from saint lucia if you go click on the link in my bio click on the link in my bio again that is going to help to suppress your appetite and that will aid in weight loss you all the sea moss and the apple cider vinegar, those are the two. And those are the things, again, that I use to keep my blood pressure low and my honey used to lower his blood pressure, right? These are the things, sea moss too, it will suppress your appetite. Yes, Rose, for sure, right? And if I find these things, if I come on here, you guys, and I'm telling you anything that I use, whether a company want me to help promote them or it's my own product or, you know, something I just find, if I put it on here on TikTok, I am telling you guys, it's something that I have tried myself and it has worked. The skincare product that I use, it's, no, I think I put it away. I come on here and I tell you guys about it because it works. It works for me. It works for my skin. And that's the only way I will put my reputation, my brand's reputation on the line if it's not my own product, right? The CMOS for appetite suppressant. There you go, okay? Yeah, <laughs> you can use that mixture. How can you use this mixture? You guys, you can put it in a scoop of it in your tea i'm recommending it for a lot of people in their smoothies because you're like oh it has a little kick to it you know because of the ginger whatever you can't handle this stuff um just a scoop of it like so 60 you're getting two months supply because you're only going to do this once a day i recommend doing it in the morning because it will help to boost your energy i've lost 10 pounds only last week was the wash for working and because of you, yeah, I know what, Rose, right? I get it. Oh, yeah, I know. Trust me, that will that will just make you not even, make you gain weight, actually. I get it, right? 10 pounds, Rose. Baby, that's good. Even if it take you six months to lose 10 pounds, never say 10 pounds only. I don't gain any back, so I'm happy. There you go, right? I've tried as a tea. You can put it in your tea as well, 
right? So you guys don't ever, you know, oh, I only lost two pounds. It's two less pounds than you had, baby girl. You lost 10 pounds. That's something to celebrate you all. That is something, I am sure there are people on here who wish they could lose a pound, right? You've changed your lifestyle. You're, I know you're walking on the treadmill a little bit more, moving a little bit more. You and I still got to get out and go for a walk. <laughs> so it always seem like it always come up. But yes, it will aid in lowering your blood pressure, um, Harlem. It will aid, go to my website, Barrett, B-A-R-R-E-T-T -T, dot fitness. But you got to give it time, you guys. This stuff is not go. I'm going to tell you a story about somebody who asked me about weight loss. Y'all are not going to believe this shit. Y'all should see some of the damn messages I get, right? But it's not going to work overnight. What I will say, I think this beats, even for my hun, I think we started noticing even after a few weeks, you know, he will spike up. You know, he was in a job that was just crazy stress. I'm like, okay, we ain't going to do that. <laughs> if it's an option, get the fuck up out of there, right? But, it, you know, I think it spiked up a little bit and then it came back down before it finally just kind of settled down or whatever. But you all, you have to, have to give it time to work. Go to my website, barrett.fitness. Again, I'll type it B-A-R-R-E-T-T -T dot fitness. That is my website, you all. Um, that's the web W E B that's the website and then go to shop and then you can purchase this right here. Only three ingredients, right? And you know, because it's, it's so much, they had to put um, something in there to kind of help it prevent it from sticking together. Right? So literally four ingredients, the turmeric, the black pepper, the ginger and the beets all in powdered form. All in one thing. Oh, yeah, I'm not trying not to. I have to I touch it. I just can't tap, touch the screen, you guys. So just be realistic, right? Do it every day. Don't say, oh, I purchased your, your beets and turmeric mixing. My blood pressure is still high. Do you do it every day? Thank you, Stacey, for the reminder. Do you do it on a regular basis? Are you giving yourself even another chance by just getting up and walking a little bit more? Are you putting all this? Are you making your own smoothies and putting all this other crap in it, right? I, um, it's not going to work overnight. You must be consistent daily, something new. You have to, just like life, right? If my honey with his high blood pressure, you think after one week of doing something like this or doing your smoothie or doing our smoothies, you think his blood pressure would go down and stay down? No. If he stopped doing this lifestyle for a, in a couple of weeks, his blood pressure would probably start going back up because it's consistency. We're trying to create a lifestyle, Right, and if you want your lifestyle to be medication, don't even worry about this. Just don't even worry about even being here, y'all. I'm trying to let, make sure people understand. I just did a video on this. Pharma, so big pharma, do not want us to believe that we can cure our bodies from a lot of these chronic diseases with the foods that we put in our mouth. Most doctors, not all of them, because I have a very good doctor. Right. And when I tell him some of the things that I'm doing, he's all for it. Right. When I tell him I don't like taking medication. OK, let's work out something that's going to help you. He ain't perfect because I don't agree with everything that he does because he's a medical doctor at the end of the day. But he's a good doctor. Right. He's not going to discourage me from doing turmeric on a regular basis. He's not going to discourage me from doing beets and having a smoothie for breakfast instead of having bacon and sausage and eggs and biscuits and pancakes. It's okay every once in a while to do that stuff. Well, I ain't doing bacon and sausage and all that stuff. But you guys, if does anyone know what's the leading contributor to high blood pressure? Can someone just type it in there? I would like just a handful of people. If you guys know, what's one of the leading causes of high blood pressure? Um, I'm sorry. Um, do you know what I can take to get rid of migraines? We talk about migraines and I know I was talking about that. It's not fair. I'm sorry, Stacey. I'll just use aloe. <laughs> aloe is good. We even have aloe in one of our smoothies, you all. I mean, we're trying some creative stuff in our smoothies, you guys. Yes, they are working for the big pharmaceutical company, Stacey, um, something, right? And because they're getting the kickbacks and it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's money in their pocket, there's, a lot of them are going to tell you. I have heard people come on here on t and said they're on TikTok and tell me their doctors told them once they're on medication for high blood pressure or diabetes or high cholesterol, they're always going to be on medication. People, that's not true. That is not true. There are many of studies that show that you can, number one, even just, just lower your dosage, even just lower your dosage of medicine. 
to prevent some of these crazy chronic diseases and then slowly wean yourself off of it, right? But you have to be consistent, you guys. You have to be consistent. It's not going to work overnight. What I'm saying, okay, stress, stress, salt. So, okay, someone says stress, underlying condition. Yes, yeah, some of it could be underlying, other underlying condition. Salt, stress, right? Um, bad foods, yeah. So these are a lot of the things. The number one contributing factor to high blood pressure is sodium in your diet. Again, you don't have to take anything that I'm saying, you all. Just go do your research. Just a simple Google search, right? Again, you're right. Stress can cause it. Bad foods can cause it. And we say bad foods, you know, what do you mean by bad foods, right? So, and the salt, sodium in your diet. Too much sodium in your diet is the leading cause of high blood pressure. You know what's the leading cause of too much sodium in your diet? Pre-processed and packaged foods. That's the leading. I'm not saying it's the only. I'm saying it's the leading, the leading cause, right? Order just place. Oh, awesome, Tracy. Awesome, you guys. And I'm doing my best to ship this stuff out. So as soon as people are ordering, within a day or two, I'm shipping it out. Ordered, but no confirmation. Money out of my account and someone contacted me, please. Um, please send me a message. I don't know who you are. I don't know anything about you. If you ordered and... Yeah, you didn't get an email confirmation. I'm not quite sure what happened there, but please DM me right here. Tell me your name and your email address. Um, you should have gotten some email. Check your spam, please. Check your spam. If, if you have no confirmation, some email, check your spam. A lot of people, you know, go to your spam or whatever. Yes, processed foods. Pre-package and processed foods, you guys. That is the leading cause of high blood pressure. And you know what it is? They have to put extra sodium or just sodium in general in a lot of these pre-packaged and processed foods to preserve them, right? They have to put it in, say for example, ramen noodles. I've done this practice on here before with someone just go to their kitchen. I've done this before and I'm, I always enjoyed it when I did it. Anyone just go to your kitchen. Does anyone on here have ramen noodles? If you have ramen noodles and you eat ramen noodles, just say me, please. I just got mine today and I put one scoop in eight ounce of uh, and I felt good. Awesome. Good for hearing. Um, can I add it to my juicing? You can. You can add it to your juicing. Now, let me do you we'll talk about juicing. Do you hibiscus? Do you recommend? I do Jamaican sorrel. That's what I do. Um, I didn't know there are different types of hibiscus, but I think it's the form of hibiscus. Fermented food, good for you. I don't do fermented food. I don't. I just don't really care for it. I like my food more as fresh as I possibly can get them. Um, but I don't. Um, no, it's not on Amazon. The only place you can get it, you guys, is on my website, Barrett.fitness. And for those of you guys, several of you guys order tonight. Um, you know, I, it will get shipped out not tomorrow, but on Saturday, and you'll have it in a, in a few days. I've never eaten ramen noodles. No hate to anyone who does. I was pouring college rolls, and I ain't even gonna lie. I was pouring college, I was an athlete. Um, and yeah, I had to eat me some ramen noodles. I never really did it on a regular. Okay. I was asking. Okay, cool. I just ordered how long does it take to receive? Um, it all depends on where you are. I don't know how long it will take you. Um, you have ramen noodles, Casey, go to your kitchen. Anyone, do you have ramen noodles? I want a couple of people. I just don't want one person. I want a couple of people. Stacy, are you still eating ramen noodles? Haven't we had this conversation? You guys, um, I have high blood pressure. And the first thing my doctor recommended was medication. I asked how long. He, what, yeah, I'm curious to see what he said. When you ask him how long, what did he say? Um, in Maryland. Oh, okay, yeah. If you're in Maryland, I think I shipped in someone in Maryland. I think it took maybe three or four days or so, but I don't know. Maybe four, maybe four. He said for life. Yeah. At least he said maybe, right? So um, she was saying that she had high blood pressure. The first thing her, no, no noodles for me. Okay. The first thing her doctor said, well, you're on medication. She asked the doctor for how long? And he said, maybe for her life. Instead of recommending, what did you do to lose that amount? Um, instead of recommending changing your lifestyle, getting up and walking, having, you know, more fruits and vegetables, seeds and nuts and so forth. They automatically put you on medication. Um, there's no protein in this product, you all. <laughs> there's no protein. It's turmeric. I don't do protein powders. Actually, we haven't really eaten meat in over a month. I think I had fish twice in six weeks. 
um i'm only 34 oh i'm sorry to hear that i love pickled onions i make it my, if you make it yourself costco yeah but you guys then you also just read your food labels right while i say this stuff i don't really care for read your food labels right educate yourself right but this is simple you guys there's no protein powder it's not protein powder it's turmeric beets black pepper and ginger no protein powder i don't do protein powder nor do i recommend protein powder unless you're a bodybuilder maybe if you're vegan maybe if you're vegan um i can't wait either special um it is available only on my website you guys barrett.fitness b-a-r-r-e-t-t -T, dot fitness f-i-t-n-e-s-s -S. um that's the website that's the website right there and there are a couple of comments that people make okay so let's talk about the black pepper um, a poor circulation can uh, walk properly inflammation inflammation in most cases inflammation could be diabetes it could even do have high blood pressure or anything like that oh awesome special um, right and so someone asked oh no I'm not touching the screen I had to type um, Stacy someone asked what's the purpose of the black pepper now the active ingredient in turmeric is curcumin that's the active ingredients in turmeric right that is what's going to work its magic the curcumin you have to add the black pepper to the um active ingredient and i think it's pectin or pecorin or something like that don't get me wrong which is the black pepper um right you have to add that to activate the curcumin and that's going to make your body absorb it 2,000 times more, 2,000 percent more than if you did it without the black pepper. So hopefully that, um, yes, autoimmune diseases can cause inflammation. Of course it can, right? But your food can help with some of these autoimmune deficiencies and autoimmune diseases that we have, the foods that you eat. You start with the root cause, right? So hopefully that helped you. That's why I put the black pepper in there. You need it to activate the curcumin, which is the active ingredient. And if you don't active them, don't get me wrong. You can do it without it. Um, Barrett, where can I buy this turmeric mix? Barrett.fitness. That is my website. Does the black pepper cause stoppage, making it hard to urinate? No, you don't. Again, you don't, you're not going to see it. This is what it looks like, you all. This is what it looks like. The main thing that you're going to see is no, no grains or anything like that. So yeah, stoppage. Mm -mm. This is actually going to make you go to the bathroom. The beets in there is going to actually help to detox your body. That's the term. She telling the truth. Oh, thank you, beautiful. Um, this is the terminology that you guys use, detoxing your body. Your body is very smart. And I say that on every live. You guys tap your screen. You tap your screen. I can't tap my screen and like myself, but you guys can like it because I like what I'm saying. If you guys like what I'm saying, go ahead and tap your screen. Can we add the black pepper into the turmeric juice? Um, sure, you can. Never heard of turmeric juice. Um, but yeah, so if you like this content, you appreciate this content, please, I appreciate yeah, Tap your screen, you know, show some love. I appreciate love too. You know, this is love I'm giving to you guys, right? This is love. This is, we do this. I do it. My honey do it, right? We take this baby. We believe in this product. Um, the whole website is Barrett.Finish. So I am obese. I can take the product. So stop my bad eating habits. Yes. Right. And put it in a smoothie. While you're on the website, Barrett.fitness, that is my website. H-E-T-G-P backslash colon, www.barrett.fitness. How about that? Yeah, that's the website. Barrett.B-A-R-R-E-T-T. B -A -R -R -E -T -T dot. And for those of you, you can go to the link in my bio, you all. There we go again. Um, this love is not for you. Says, you know I love you on a whole different level. Um, right, just place my order. Oh, awesome, docs, awesome. Um, yeah, so these are the foods that you want to use to not not only um prevent these chronic diseases, but if you find yourself in a place where you have it, where you have high blood pressure, where you have high blood sugar, where you have high cholesterol, right? Just try your best to minimize some of these pre-packaged and processed food. Did anyone find ramen noodles? I know we got off on a whole different tangent. So uh, can I just put just water? Mm -hmm. That's actually on the label. That's what it recommends. You can put it in just water if that's what you want. You can put it in a water, 8 to 10 ounces of water. You can put it in your smoothies. You can put it in your coffee. You can put it in your tea. If you're drinking juice, you can put it in your juice. You know, in this color, you know, do a half a scoop for your kid. 
make the color a little bit more fun or something because the color is badass <laughs> that's that pretty orange color um you know put just put a little bit in your you know your kids juice or whatever and it will help with the inflammation right it will help um you know if they have these chronic sinusitis um let's look around my nose up on amazon yeah let me look yes please do you know the chronic sinusitis always getting the cold and stuff like that you know use a little bit of something like this just one a day you guys, we're trying to make it a lifestyle, right? Just one a day. I don't have pressure and I have diabetes. I have poor circulation and cause my leg to shift. Okay, right. And the poor circulation again, okay, you don't have it, can be the inflammation in your body that's causing that, right? And again, something like turmeric will help you. Another thing I use um, in our smoothies is actually moringa as well. You can give it to your 13 year old. Yes, you can right you can there's no counter indication for kids you know especially that old maybe a half a school because you know again you have a little kick to it but if you put, make a smoothie make a smoothie with almonds and some fruits some berries and whatever and put a scoop of that and that will mask the taste for your kid right kids are always getting sick they're always getting a cold and the flu and you know all this stuff going on their immune system is not where it's supposed to be or whatever. You want to start introducing foods like this into their diet, right? Let them eat beets. It's going to help them, right? Um, ginger is good for inflammation as well. Ginger is also good for digestive system. I got it. What do you need? Okay. So we're talking about um, sodium. What is the percent for anyone who have ramen noodles or anything? Just go to your kitchen and just pull something out, right? But um, Rose looked up ramen noodles, which I just think if you, just, if you have that in your kitchen, go throw that shit away. If you have high blood pressure, especially, do not eat it, right? So Rose, we're talking about, I want you to look at the percent of sodium. What's the percent of sodium? Sodium is 82 milligrams for one pack of 34%. That's actually pretty good. No, that is good. For ramen noodle, that's actually pretty good, right? But anything over 20% of sodium in a food, between 15 and 20%, it's too much, right? Because if you think of that, that's ramen noodle. You're probably going to do that as a snack most cases, as just one meal, right? Then you eat something else that come out of a pre-packaged bag or whatever, right? That's going to have some more sodium in it. That's right. That's a fourth of the whole sodium intake. You're going to cook food and you're going to put salt and you're going to season it. Or you're going to have something else out of a can that has 34%. There you go right there. You know what I mean? You're right. What's that? 68% and you only have maybe two meals for the day or whatever. So that's the point that I'm trying to make. As someone that did this um, practice, never ate ramen noodles, please don't start. Please don't start, Ira girl. Please do not. When I say that stuff is so bad for you, it is so horrible for you. People think stress is the leading cause of high blood pressure, right? I mean, my honey can tell you, he has a stressful life. We all, everybody got stress, right? Have a stressful life, but we still manage to lower his blood pressure, right? And maybe some of the stress, hopefully I helped to relieve some of the stress. Do I have relieved some of your stress, baby? Yes. Oh, okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> um, right? But then you just want to change your life. If you're in a relationship, that's fucked up. Get the heck up out of it. You're in a job that's crappy. Get the hell out of it. I have a case of ramen noodles. Stacy, look on your ramen noodles. Tell me how much sodium is in it, Stacy. What percent? I don't need the milligrams or grams or whatever. What percent? Just got here. What about the turmeric powder brand? It's on my website, right, you guys. That is my brand right here. Barrett Nutrition. I'm Barrett Nutrition, Barrett Fitness Enterprises. That is my brand. You're gonna, that's the website. Barrett.fitness is where you're going to go to find this, you all. Barrett.fitness. Then go to shop and then, um, thank you. Can't wait to try. Awesome. Right? So, oh, thank you. Thank you, Philip. Um, thank you. Right? So, no desire to eat it. I have no desire. You don't need it. There's nothing in it. So, Stacy, I want you to tell me what's the percent. If you already did, I'm sorry. I'll pay attention. What's the percent of sodium? And tell the truth that's in your ramen noodles. I'm having uh, minced tea, you all. Get rid of those noodles high in sodium. There you go, something new. So if you are telling me you have high blood pressure and you eat ramen noodles, trust me, just eliminating that out of your diet, you're going to see a difference. You don't need that shit. There's very nutritional value in it. You don't need it, um, right? I'll be placing my order. Oh, thank you, Harlem. You don't need it. And if you're going to get something like this, that's going to supposed to help with inflammation in your body and, you know, help you, um, you know, with lowering your blood pressure and so forth. And you're going to continue to eat ramen noodles on a regular basis and all these prepackaged microwave foods and all this shit. 
it's not going to help you. I'm just telling you guys, you have to put some work in. You have to want to change your life at least just a little bit. You guys, at least the website is Barrett.fitness. You all Barrett.fitness. The next time I come on live, I'll have to have a picture of my website so you guys can just see it. Maybe that would be a good idea. Um, B A R R E T T. Um, TikTok. Um, click. Um, it's 26%. Okay, 26%. My blood pressure was 117 over 70 today. Oh, awesome. That's a very good number. Now tell me your story. Um, live love. Do you do our smoothies? Do you, what do you do? And how was, what was it before? You, well, you can't give us half of the information. Live lovely. <laughs> I'll be placing my order. I just placed my order. Thank you guys. Yeah, I see the orders coming in. As I am on here, I see them coming in. I appreciate you guys. How much does it cost to get... It's um, in Mandeville. I can't send it to Jamaica, you all. I'm sorry. It's probably going to cost me $30, $40, $50. I don't know how much it costs to ship to Jamaica. It's just too expensive. I was born in Mandeville, though, baby star. If you know anyone who's in, coming you know, to Jamaica for the holidays or something, you know, have them order it and bring it to you. Yes, I do smoothies and sea moss. There you go. And how long have do you do the sea moss that I recommend? Live lovely. And tell us what was your blood pressure before and how long have you been doing the smoothies? I have been taking just beetroot powder, but I need to be more consistent. Okay, there you go. Yeah. And add in, you know, the, the black pepper with the turmeric. You're killing you guys so many birds in one stone. As I have on here, you guys, I don't know if you can or you can't see. It's gonna boost your energy. That's why I said, don't do it at nighttime. Once I did it at nighttime and I just it had a hard time falling asleep, but I'm sensitive to that stuff anyway. Um, it says Alabama. Yep, I graduated from the University of Alabama. We're going to come to Trinidad one day, Stacy. right? It boosts your endurance, boosts your stamina, vitamin B9, antioxidants, and vitamin C, potassium. Beets is great to boost your iron as well. A lot of us ladies are iron deficient, including myself. I'm iron deficient. I went a whole month without taking any supplements for iron. And my doctor was shocked and wondering, what is it the heck that you're doing at home? And I'm telling you, it's right here. I promise you, it's right here. I have my blood work to show it, right? I, I was out of folic acid. I was out of, and I was out of iron, which is the two that I um, take, right? For a whole month. My doctor wanted to see clean blood work. My iron was great. Um, my family's buried too. Oh, where are you from? You're from Mobay? Um, how much do I ask my sister to get it? And she's there. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah. Ask her to get it. Um, yeah, please do. Uh, let's see. Someone just said, ah, okay. I started back in May and my blood pressure would run 138 over 89. And okay. So you're doing the smoothies that I recommend live lovely. So your blood pressure won from 138 over 89. Let's see. And what is it now to 114 over 70 May, June, July, August, September, October, November, seven months, right? One. 14. It went from 136 to 114, right? And these are the things that I'm saying, you guys, that if you just try to change, were you on high blood pressure medication? What is it again? I can't see it. It's called, it's on my website. I only have three things on my website, you all, I promise. If you go to shop, you have to go to my website, then you have to go to shop. The only place that it's available, it's on my website. You know, again, if I start selling it on Amazon, I'm going to have to sell it for a lot more money because every company want a little bit out of, you know, anyone who's selling anything. If any one of you sell anything, you know what I mean. It's going to take a little, they're going to, the person who charge your credit card is going to take some, the, the whatever site you use is going to take some. So, you know, if I start selling on Amazon, it's just going to be astronomical. But it's, as of now, Barrett.fitness, that's the website. What fruit would you recommend to do it with? Harlem. Can you go get my smoothie recipe ebook? That one is only five dollars. I promise you. I promise you. Or go to my go to my YouTube. Okay, this is what I'm gonna tell you. So if you don't want to spend the extra five dollars to get the smoothie recipe ebook, that's what I'm. This is what I'm gonna tell you. Go to YouTube. It's the same. Barrett Nutrition on YouTube. I have a playlist of smoothies. Any smoothie that I make, you can add this to. 
I have a playlist of smoothies even right here on TikTok. You guys, if you're not following me, Harlem, follow me. I have a playlist of smoothies right here on TikTok. I have a smoothie recipe at least once a week. I'm posting smoothie recipes, giving them to you guys, and you guys can, okay? You guys can, you know, do it like that. You guys can get the smoothies there. But any smoothies that I make, right? For the smoothies in my smoothie recipe ebook, I try not to do, you know, like the mangoes and pineapples the ebook is only five dollars yes stacy you know and these grapes you know to these sugary fruits right because i want people to help lower their blood pressure and their blood sugar as well i don't want to do hi there august um yeah my pleasure my pleasure harlem you know berries but berries are the main thing that i recommend what well, we did it today again you guys it's raspberries harlem today this is what i did the smoothie that I spilled and had to slurp up off of the counter. She was so good. Um, hi there, BB. I did some raspberries, some strawberries, a handful of unsalted raw almonds, um, some chopped up purple cabbage, um, flaxseed, a scoop of this, and two cups of water. That was our breakfast this morning. Again, if you go watch my video, I had to slurp it up off of the counter, but I did have it. So go to YouTube, you guys. Go follow me. Go over on YouTube. Watch a couple of my videos. It will help support me as well. Um, but, you know, I give all my love to TikTok. Whatever, you know, I still have to do YouTube because it, all of this really started on Instagram for me, who I've left for you guys on TikTok. Because it's just one of me. I can't be on these lives all over the place or whatever. I got a real full-time job. Um, but, yeah, so, you know, thank you guys guys all of you who have you know come on here thanks to those of you who have already ordered this again i think i'm only down to a hundred my youtube name it um live love my youtube name is the same barrett nutrition and if you type in barrett fitness enterprises it's there as well i just changed the name just to be consistent so barrett nutrition but hop on over to youtube watch a couple of videos you know say TikTok sent me or something like that. Um, hypothyroidism surgery. Um, can I take CMOS? You want to consult with your doctors, right? Because I'm, I'm guessing if you had the surgery, then they took out your thyroid. You're on medication. If you don't have thyroid, I hope you're on medication. And you that you will be on probably on medication for the rest of your life. Um, yes, get the ebook, please. It has the recipes in there. And it comes directly to your email. It's electronic. You don't have to wait for that. Um, this is my first time seeing you. And I'm glad that I came across you. Oh, thank you, Linda. Um, yeah, so yeah, go get the ebook again. Like Stacey says, it's only five bucks. You have the recipes there. Um, what is the expiration date? I think it's a, um, October 2024. So you have a year. And again, stuff like this, you get, I mean, for me, I have the, the turmeric that I have in my case. Sometime it expired a year ago and I still use it because again, it's just powdered form raw held they have to put an expiration date on there um but it's a year just you know just so you know if you want to be safe hey mahi boo where you been i should have messaged you and tell you i was coming on mahi because i'm about to get off Mahi's in the house you all my tiktok sister um from another mother <laughs> but stacy's my sister too you know stacy get jealous you know over mahi but stacy was holding it down mahi while you were out but i've been on here almost an hour now and almost about 2024 i'm sure mine will be gone mine too the one that we're using now it will be gone in a couple of months i know for sure um yeah but you know rose um, um you you never told me that you know you lost 10 pounds and that's that's a big deal that is a big deal, you guys, you know, like, you know, Stacy lost, I don't know, probably close to a dang hundred, over a hundred pounds, right? And we talk about that and we celebrate that. But, you know, we want to celebrate the five pounds and we want to celebrate 10 pounds. If you lost a pound, we want to celebrate it. If you boost your energy, we want to celebrate it, right? We want to celebrate any win. If you're doing, I lost 11 pounds, right? And you're doing the smoothies, um, Live Lovely right um my my pleasure you know we want to celebrate these things especially you know i know there are men and women on here but you know i don't think us as women do enough to celebrate each other you know it's a lot of women do you know I, I get it a lot of women do but we have to celebrate the small wins as well you wake up this morning and you feel like you have a little bit more energy than you did yesterday that's a win you have to celebrate that and watching what i eat there you go perfect so you're doing the smoothies and watching what you eat right so you know anything whatever it is this some mornings i wake up and i feel tired <sighs> 
On mornings I wake up and I don't feel tired, I am celebrating that. Did you sleep well last night? Heck yeah, I did. That's something to celebrate, right? That is something to celebrate. Okay, Mahi, yeah, you should be getting yours. If you're going to California, I think it's, it's going to take a little longer. You know, we're on the other side of the country. But, you know, there are people that I mailed out. They got it in a couple of days. My sister got hers in Florida in three days, I think it was. Um, and then I'm sure there are a lot of people ordered tonight. So it won't go out until Saturday. And, you know, you'll get it, you know, in a, in a few days, depending on where you are. I'm happy Mai is here. <laughs> You're not jealous anymore. <laughs> Um, yeah, so again, you guys, if you are looking to get this, you can go to my website, barrett.fitness. There are many of you who aren't here for the first time. Thank you, guys. If you're not following me, please go follow me. But please believe there is hope. If you're, if you, especially if you're on that earth, if you're pre diabetic, there is hope, right? If your blood pressure is in the 130s, you know, or whatever, there is a lot of hope. Start changing your diet. I've had people who say, you know, like someone came on here and said their doctor, the first time they found out they had high blood pressure, doctor say medication, unless it's just some through the roof type shit. I've had people be like, I ain't going on medication. I'm going to take my life into my own hands. My doctors wanted to give me medication, you know, for when I get migraines or medication for, I think you may have arthritis. Oh, you have vertigo. Oh, you have IBS. These are all things that doctors have um, told me that I have. And a lot of times I'm just like, First of all, how you know I have IBS? You didn't even do a damn test for it, right? Because I have digestive issues. I cleaned up my diet, you all. Cleaned up my diet, right? Yes, what can I do for pre-diabetic? Right here. Clean up your diet. At minimum, I say go get my smoothie recipe ebook, you all. Because there is no sugar added. There's no juices added. Those, there's no high sugary fruits added. Replace your breakfast with a smoothie every day with seeds. Yeah, vertigo. Yeah, that's another thing they told me I had vertigo. And they can't figure out what the heck was happening to me. I changed my diet. Now, what I can't, I cannot tell you I will order from you. Yes, it's in my bio. Definitely in my bio. Um, link is in my bio for sure. Um, um, you know, they, they, they can't tell me what, like the first time, like I passed out literally passed out, hit the ground, passed out. Oh, you have an inner ear infection, right? When the next time I continue to feel like shit, right? They're like, oh, you have vertigo. How the hell you know I have vertigo? I don't even know if there's a test for vertigo. But what I cannot tell you is what exactly I did for the vertigo. Now, if I'm on a boat out there, I do get vertigo. But I used to get vertigo just, just sitting. I'll be sitting here and I am spinning. Literally me spinning. This was in my 30s, you all. And then I decided, oh, awesome, MI3, MI3. Um, you know, literally, I am telling you, I changed my diet. The arthritis, the vertigo, um, you know, the, the chronic heartburn. I used to get that crap so freaking badly. I couldn't lay on my back and sleep because I feel like fire is coming up, right? So you guys, just change your diet, change your diet. I'm not saying it's, gonna, it's a cure-all, you know, but if you start adding seeds and nuts and fresh fruits vegetables and drinking plenty of water oh my god vertigo kick my butt it kicked my butt too cynthia yeah. it kicked my butt i'm telling you right and the, the, these doctors when it comes to stuff like vertigo and ibs which is the irritable bowel syndrome there are a couple of other things that i'm like these are for sometimes it's just process of elimination because how did i went from having an inner infection oh i had a respiratory infection right because the day at first time i passed out the you know i went to the doctor and i Felt like I was having a cold or whatever, right? And that was gone in like two days. So I didn't think it was a cold. They're like, oh, you have a respiratory infection. And I think whatever they gave me. And I went home and I'm like, fuck this shit. Then the second time I went to the doctor. And first they were checking my high blood pressure, da da da, your blood pressure too low, da da da, da whatever. Oh, you have an inner ear infection, right? And then it, I didn't pass it, but I continue to feel like I'm going to pass out. Oh, you have vertigo. Then they say you have vestibular migraines. That was one another thing. I've been diagnosed with a whole bunch of crap, you all, <laughs> right? And I just decided that I am going to try to take my life into my own hands. That's when I started to um, uh, IBS. Inflammation, you all. Inflammation in a lot of times cause IBS. That's what I use to cure when th these symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome, right? Fresh fruits, vegetables, seeds, and nuts. That's why I'll talk about smoothies all day long, all day long. Talk about turmeric. 
moringa getting something like this is going to help with inflammation in your body in general when we talk about inflammation people think it's only for joint pain did you know there's something like brain inflammation that causes some you know mental issues depression and anxiety inflammation of your brain go google it go look it up i'm telling you studies are coming out to show these things even for kids when you're like oh they have anxiety and they have depression and all this stuff you all i am telling you people change your kids diet some of these don't get me wrong i'm not saying that it's you know they may not but if you have a kid that has depression why wouldn't you want to give them the best chance to live a happy healthy life by at least introducing good healthy foods that's going to help to prevent some of these symptoms of these issues thank god we are okay now and you're helping a lot of people yes stacy thank you thank you so much right and that's why i can use my own experience I became a personal trainer. I became a nutrition specialist. I started specializing in women's fitness. I did a certification in core, you know, because I'm all about the core, the core, the core, the core, especially as we get older, our stomach, right? Right. And I studied these things and I, I started helping people, right? I did the personal training. A lot of times I am teaching people nutrition, just teaching people how to eat. And then once I see how their bodies react to it, then I can share it with the next person, right? This is not just my experience. This is years of me helping other people to change their body with the food that they eat, right? Um, looking to change my diet. Right? Yeah, pretty. You know, just changing your diet is going to help with a lot of these issues that we have. A lot of these issues. Not only arthritis and bronchitis. And, um, you know, we talk about these chronic diseases, high blood pressure and all this stuff, right? Um, what's what I need to help with? Yes, Mahi Core. I'm telling you, for, especially for, well, men and women. The foods that we eat, again, it's just setting the fat to our belly. To our belly, to our belly, to our belly. You just have to do core exercises. And a lot of the foods that we eat is going to help to cut belly fat. Stress increases cortisol and which is a hormone right that's the fat hormone is what they call it i think right or it, well it's a stress hormone right and it, it it causes us to have belly fat right so if you drink a lot of water try to um you know prevent certain um drink plenty of water try to prevent eliminate stress as best as you can or reduce your stress as best as you can out of your body right and get a lot of rest just start there with the basics, right? And then start introducing foods. You're not going to sit around and do flax seeds, chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, purple cabbage, beets, and all this stuff. That's why I put it in a powdered form, right? So you have four really good, powerful ingredients. You can just put that in water and go. And that's why I come up with the smoothie recipes so you can put them all, blend them all up, mix them up with just water and keep it going. Because we're not going to sit around and eat this stuff every day, right? Someone's talk about, you know, lupus. Right, some of these symptoms that we have with these autoimmune diseases and deficiencies, you all, right, is inflammation in your body, right, is stress and the foods that we put in our body, the lack of exercise, the lack of movement, right. So that's why I always recommend for people to just start with changing your diet. I'm not telling you, right, that these things are going to cure you. What I'm saying is, you want to give your body a fighting chance. Or just a chance that it may at least make you feel better. Make you wake up most days feeling better. You know, I talk about my migraines all the time. I used to get these bad boys like a week at a time. Two weeks at a time. One time I feel like I had a migraine for probably a month. I get them so bad. Nausea. All this other stuff, right? Now I get a migraine. They may last for a day. They may last for a couple of days. They're not half as bad as they used to be. My the last three days, I had a migraine. My sister had a migraine. My mama had a migraine. It's something that runs in my family, right? But we can try to eliminate the stress. We can start by drinking a lot more water, staying hydrated, right? These are the things that are going to help not only with the migraines that I have, with my skin, right? I'm outside running a lot. I've been an athlete, uh, me too, on Botox. Uh, yes. Um, what do you mean on Botox? I can't find the website. TikTok, it's Barrett dot fitness or click on my image up here and then when it comes up click on the image again when you get to my profile right above my videos you will see a link there's a link in my bio as well thank you mahi um cause from inflammation narcolepsy cause from information again inflammation 
When I um, talk about Tomb Ricky Wall, y'all just don't believe me. When I say I swear by this thing, I swear by it. And people are telling me, oh, Tomb Ricky is not good for your kidneys. I have people tell me that all the time. You go look at the studies, you all. Go look at the studies. And sometimes I'll do turmeric, then I'll switch it up and I'll do moringa. And if you notice on my smoothie, if you get the smoothie recipe ebook, it's not that we do a smoothie for a week, then we change it, then we do another one just to kind of switch it up a little bit, right? I go get checked every year. When I'm a pescatarian and I'm, you know, uh, eat seafood, oh, aren't you worried about iodine? Is it iodine in seafood? Is that what it is? That people always say, um, if you eat too much seafood, is it iodine? Mercury, yeah, that one, that mineral. I've been doing just seafoods now for, well, until last month, about 10 years. I cut out every other meat. I never had an issue with mercury. I just make sure I source my seafood very well when I eat seafood, right? Um, to have that from migraine, that's so painful. Yeah, and we all get it, you guys. And I'm saying it's for me, I just think it's the inflammation. A lot of time it's stress and dehydration because once i have a migraine and i start to chug water i usually find that it starts to get a little bit better right but inflammation in your body the foods that we eat too much sodium migraine sometimes high blood pressure can cause this migraine just try to click the link to purchase it's not working um i can't find the website <laughs> several people just order so i know it's working um the sh shellfish trigger gout i don't know about that one I don't know of that selfish trigger um, gout. I'm not quite sure. You know, you want to cut out the sugar? Somebody just ordered, so I know it's working. Um, again, it's barrett.barrett.fitness. That's the website. So, I, um, you know, I, I had a, a co-work click on her page. Yeah, thank you, Mahi. Um, I have, please get rid of it, Stacy. I thought I taught you better. Get rid of ramen noodles. Can I take your blood pressure medication? Sorry for anyone already asked. Um, what I recommend you all, if you decide to do this and you're on high blood pressure medication, right? Monitor your blood pressure every day. Once you see your blood pressure start, or if you just prefer to go to your doctor and ask them, right? Monitor your blood pressure every day. You notice your blood pressure start going down, then it's time. Thank you so much, uh, P P L K. Then it's time for you to go to your doctor and say, I've been doing this for a week. My blood pressure is going down. Should I probably start taking a half of a pill? That's what a client of mine did. She started taking a half of a pill, right? Because you want to know what's going on in your body. I am not telling anyone to get off of medication. I am not a doctor. I give you a medication for a reason because you didn't take care of yourself in the first place and you're in a position now. Low iron right here. Beats. Beets, I'm telling you, when I tell you, I can think of so many things that a mix like this is going to help you with. Beets is great to help to boost your iron. The smoothies that I make have the dark green leafy vegetables like your kale and your, your spinach. You know, those are going to help to boost your iron as well. So hopefully, um, my pleasure, um, PKL, um, the vitamin D deficient, vitamin D. Um, I am vitamin D deficient as well. Um, and I do have to take a supplement uh, once a week from vitamin D. But seafood are great sources of vitamin D, you all. Um, and sardines in the can with oil. That's a great source of vitamin D um, as well. Can I purchase the turmeric? You can get it um, pretty on my website. It's called barrett.fitness. Or just click on the link in my bio and you can um, go purchase it there as well. B-A-R-R-E-T-T -T dot fitness. Once my website come up, then go to shop and then you can purchase it, you know, right there. My tea is getting cold. You want to know what kind of tea I'm drinking? That's what I'm drinking. Mint. Mint leaf tea. It actually helps to calm me. We drink mint. sardines with olive oil. Yep, yeah. sardines and olive oil with the bones. Sardine with the bone in, in olive oil. Great source of vitamin D. Yes, it is. Um, did you? Uh, no, I didn't put any turmeric. I don't do this at nighttime, Mahi. One time I did it at nighttime and I couldn't go to sleep. And I think the beets actually boost your energy. It does. <laughs> it boosts your endurance. It boosts your energy. And I find that it does it to me too. And because I don't do caffeine or I'm just sensitive to, you know, anything that's going to at nighttime, this helped calm me. I'll do turmeric, but I won't do the beets. 
at night time but you know maybe you can try when you get it and tell me if i have that effect on you but i do recommend doing this in the morning but can you add it in a tea yeah 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 for sure you can definitely you can add it in your tea you can put it in your smoothies you can put it in just water again it has ginger and black pepper so it's gonna have a slight little kick to it you know but remember none of this stuff that is great for you even if you go buy protein powder it tastes like shit I like the taste of ginger. I think you do too, Mahi. Um, but if you want to mask, you don't taste the turmeric really. You don't taste the beets either. I know a lot of people don't taste it. What you will taste is a little kick. And I think it's a combination of the pepper and the ginger. Um, that's why I say put it in your smoothies. Um, awesome. Yeah, I'm ready for you to try it too, Mahi. I can't wait. I'm about to have my hibiscus tea. Oh, perfect. Yeah, hibiscus tea. Another thing that will help to lower your blood pressure, Ira girl. Please just don't put no sugar in it, baby girl. Based on your name, may I guess you're Jamaican. You're Jamaican, right, Irie girl? I know you're Jamaican, you know. Because the name there only, only. please tell, tell me if I'm wrong. I mean, if I'm right. <laughs> um, is there soy? No, no soy. Only ask because I'm allergic to soy. Four ingredients, you all. Four ingredients. And again, you will see something in there that's going to help too. Um, I think I may have taken it out of this one already to prevent. And yeah, I don't want the powder to get in my face. But yeah, it's turmeric, <coughs> chamomile, and ginger sleeping much better. Yeah, chamomile and ginger is good. Chamomile and ginger, even just chamomile. <clears throat> chamomile actually help, um, help me to fall asleep as well. Ginger helps me. Turmeric helped me. Chamomile helped me. Um, those are the main teas that I actually do. Oh, good. Then buying it then. Um, yeah, but it's four ingredients. Turmeric, beets, black pepper, ginger right and then you see a little packet in there i'm just keeping it real with you i see a little packet in there you will just take it out it's it's supposed to help to prevent it from sticking together when you know they're making it but that's it the four active ingredients right there you're not going to see any added this and added that and preservative and additives and all this other stuff you won't see that um straight out of jamaica kingston to be exact what part of kingston you come from i'm from kingston too crossroads area yeah straight out of jamaica hi there from kenya good morning it's nighttime here and it's almost Oh, you, you like when I talk Jamaican? <laughs> he like when I talk Jamaican, y'all. <laughs> All right, Ari, we're going to tell you. Ari, is your husband or boyfriend or partner Jamaican or American? Yeah? Um, just join. What's that? So this is turmeric with beets and black pepper, right? If you're looking to boost your energy, boost your stamina, lower your blood pressure, um, help with inflammation, you have arthritis, bronchitis, a lot of chronic diseases. And the main one, you got, it's going to detox, detoxify your body. The beets is great with to help you with that, right? If you're looking to purchase it, go to my website. The only place you can get it is on my website, barrett.fitness. That's my website. Or click on the link in my bio and you'll find it. Here, Pauline, which part of Jamaica you come from, Pauline? Um, born and grew up in Jonestown, hobby from St. Mary. Okay, they're both, Jama you're both Jamaicans. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. So straight to the Jamaican, me no Irie. So may I talk to just may I talk to just one person now? We know maybe Polly. Well, Polly will understand too, because my baby like when I talk Jamaican. <laughs> so indulge him just a little bit. <laughs> um, right, Saint Mary. My stepdad is from Saint Mary. My stepdad is from Inslington. Insul That's where my stepdad is from. Um, right. So me know what you say, Irie. You make the high biscuit tea. You add sugar. Tell me if you put sugar in it. You put sugar in it, right? Oh, thank you, pretty. Thanks for ordering. Um, we're going to get them out as soon as we get headed to Jamaica in March. I haven't been to Jamaica a long time ago, home, you know, long time, long time. And my parents are in Jamaica a long time ago, home. Um, yeah, but I remember ask you a question. You put, uh, where are you from? Um, P L K. Are you Jamaican? Um, no sugar at all. Okay. Proud of you. Proud of you, my Jamaican sister. No sugar. She no put no sugar in there. <laughs> you understand Jamaican um, Rose? Because Rose is from Guadalupe. Then Rose, you say Guadalupe or Guadalupe. Lupe. Stay, um, my good friend Mahi, my um, TikTok sister, her husband is Jamaican. Um, and she is from Ethiopia, y'all. Ethiopia in the house. So that's my sister. Oh, first one, Guadalupe. Okay, awesome. Um, oh, you're from DC. Okay, receive. Well, um receive mine this evening we'll start tomorrow oh awesome awesome thank you for letting me know so remember you guys you will find that it's gonna have a little kick but it's good 
if you like that gingery flavor and that gingery taste. If you want to mask all taste, just put it in a smoothie. If you don't have my smoothie recipe ebook, it's only $5. Go buy them and it will help you. I do ship to Canada. US and Canada can turmeric help with high cholesterol. Just a combination like this is going to help to lower your bad cholesterol, you all, right? And just get the smoothie recipe ebook. All these foods that were added, you know, the, 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 um, Flaxseed, just put some flaxseed in it and blend it up. Omega-3 fatty acids, that's what you need that's going to increase your HDL, which is your good cholesterol, and reduce your LDL, right? You want to reduce and eliminate foods that are um, packed with the um, triglyceroids, right? That's going to help with lower your cholesterol, lowering your cholesterol. If you use a smoothie, um, why do you want to move to Jamaica? What make you want to go to Jamaica? Yeah, okay, you understand Jamaica? You understand what I just said? Um, P. Okay, you understand what I just said? I can't wait to try the tea and powder. Um, yeah, so again, you just read the powder. You can put it in your smoothies, put it in your tea. If you don't want a little kick of a little, you know, flavor you get from the ginger, put it in a smoothie. Get turmeric powder and ebook recipe. Oh, yeah, awesome. Thank you so much, Mahi. Thank you. Um, but yeah, give it a try, you guys. You guys are going to come back and give me the review and let me know. Give it time to work, please, you all. You know, a few of the ladies on here, Rose, Mahi, I think Stacy. I'm not quite sure. We have no issues. I don't ship to Spain. I'm sorry. We have no issues with high blood pressure. We have no issues with high blood sugar. We have none of those, but we do these things to help to prevent that, to give over all in our 40s, Rose, Mahi, myself, I'm not, how old are you, Stacy? We are in our 40s. We do not have these issues. We give ourselves a fighting chance, right? Are we perfect? No. I look at myself sometimes and my honey think I have a perfect body, but there are days I'm like, I could tighten this up and tighten that up. I know, right? <laughs> and tighten that up. I don't think I'm perfect. And none of us think 44, right? Um, Stacy, okay. So we're all in our 40s. I know Rose is in her 40s. I know Mahi's in her 40s. These are people that I, that I know. I only know Rose because she lives right up the street from me. I can run to Rose's house. Um, right? But we do. I've never had it. You have never, never had it, you all. And I've had some health issues, you know, where, again, Dr. Pride for me, this medication stress. I'm a hotel general manager. Just imagine. Through COVID, I live in my hotel. I did not go home for about two months. I literally lived in my hotel, right? I was working on the road for a good year, right? Life throwing at you and you get stressed and you see, you know, but I try to always have my Nutribullet with me to make my smoothies. I use foods like this. When I can't get a smoothie, I always have a turmeric with me so where I can just put it in water or mix it in my juice or something like that, whatever it is that I'm drinking, right? It's always a pleasure being here. Always a pleasure having you, Stacy. right? And the thing that I'm trying, I don't know about Mahi and Stacy and Rose. You know, you guys can tell me if you guys ever had high blood pressure. I'm going to guess probably not. But you guys can just, if you don't mind commenting, I've never had it. And it's not for that I think I'm so good or I think I'm so perfect. I put work in, y'all. I get my ass up and I move, right? And I eat decent, all right? I'm telling you, it's not like we don't eat junk food, right? Or eat bad food, but we minimize them, right? We make a, a apple pie and it took us a whole week to eat it, right? One time a day, one time a day, Nico, just one scoop a day. Do it in the mornings or even at lunch. I don't really recommend it at nighttime, but you know, some people can take energy boost and stuff at nighttime. Me, mm -mm, right? So we eat every week. We go out on vacation or go out to dinner. We want to have dessert. We do, right? Okay, never had high blood pressure. No, but I will share something. But next time, um, okay, yeah, next time, um, Stacy, because I'm about to hop off of here. But I love when you guys share. Um, you know, your stories with me and I appreciate it. I know Stacy love coming on here and she shared with us, you know, just coming on live and we sit here and hang and chat and indulge each other. It's good for her mental health. For This is good for me. When I go out for a run, it's good for my mental health. And I pick up the phone and I share it, you know, I get your ass up and move and all this stuff and I'm doing it. It's good for my mental health as well, right? And people can use social media for whatever you want to use it for. These are the things that I use it for, just to engage with you guys. And Kay, I know, you know, is one of the 
people who have been, yes, I love being here, you know, been riding Stacy, Mahi, Rose, you know, thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you. Now, Ira girl going to be a part of the family. And y'all can, you, whoever, I don't mention your name if I don't really, you know, we haven't engaged that much, you know, be a part of the family. Comment on a video every once in a while and we come on here and we have conversation and we share stories with each other. You know, I wish Mahi and, and Stacy was in Georgia and, you know, we could have a little women's group and keep that shit going like that. Someone just ordered a couple. Um, don't leave. Linda. There you go. Where are you from, Linda? Tell us where you're from. Um, hi there, Yolanda. Um, I'm about to hop off you guys, but where, um, where are you from? Hoping to run the peach tree again, maybe next year. Okay, Rose, so we need to get working because it's the Rose. You're not going to call me. I don't know if you understand Jamaica. I'm going to talk Jamaican to you right now. You're not going to call me. Um, when is the picture? July. You're not going to call me June 1st and say, oh, let's go. Or oh, you're in Chicago. Let's go train for the Peachtree Road Race. We need to start now. My honey and I did that. We didn't really train for it. <laughs> well, we pretty much ran the whole thing. I think we may have stopped once or whatever. We didn't really train for it. But, you know, he went out there. Hi, Valerie. How are you, sister girl? Um, you know, and we ran the Petrie Rotors and he has never really ran, you know. You know, hopefully I'm making an impact on this man's life. You know, he's never ran a, P a road race before. Right, babe? Such a positive impact. Such what? Positive impact impact positive impact on his life you guys if you're with someone make sure they have a positive impact on you and you have a positive impact on them he's good for my mental health too because i'm a hothead i'm jamaican so i think it just comes with the water that we drink or something like i flip but he's calm and he keeps me calm right and in the times when i some one of us need to flip then i'll be the one to flip we balance each other out like that which i think will you know keep us around together for a little bit he the mellow and i'm the hot head i got a jamaican hot head uh, my friend tricked me into signing up for the lottery a few years ago <laughs> you need to rest yeah i do need to rest i use i use oh you used to live in alabama mahi okay cool but yeah so we're gonna sign up for it rose even if it's just me and you and my honey i've run this race seven years it can well no we didn't do it one year I was working in Indiana, I didn't do it, and we didn't do it the year when um, COVID. So, yeah, but we do it. Um, didn't think I would win the lottery and did the next thing I know. <laughs> You're running, I know, right? Um, yeah, right, Ivory Girl? Great, but we do. We do balance each other out. We do. And it's sometimes, I want to choke him out, you know, but we ain't going to tell him. And I'm sure sometimes he want to choke me out too, right? Because we're different like that. But we balance each other out. We do. You know, we're both compassionate and passionate about people and stuff like that. But he's laid back. And I'm like, we got to get the fuck up and move, man. Like, literally. That's that's how I am. That's my personality. If you're from the Caribbean, every girl, I'm sure say you like that. To very few Jamaican, especially women. There's just something about us, man. That, And I don't know if it's good. I don't know how the hell. Mahi and Irie. I don't know how the hell one of my bosses have been for 30 years. Oh, wow. That is really good. Well, you're going to start, Rose. We're going to start running, right? Um, you know, like for real, though. It's something about us Jamaican women. Uh, exactly. I don't know what. I don't know what. Sometimes I just feel like when someone annoy me, like me just want to like... I have, I have to literally just make myself like chill the fuck out, you know, and I'll cry because I want to uh, with different. Um, where are you from? Love me more. Um, what do you mean with different? Oh, we Jamaican. Oh, man. So you're Jamaican too, right? Yeah, we're not playing. No, man, we're not playing. Sometimes, you know how we just say like my head chip? Like sometimes I say my head chip. I mean, literally me my head chip. Because you just get into one of the modes and you're like, you just feel like you want to punch my, and, and I'm not a violent person, but I have the thoughts because I don't want to go to prison because the thought of dropping the soap is, mm. <laughs> I know, all right. <laughs> thought of going to prison, dropping the soap. Yes, goody, right? Is there something wrong with me? I mean, there's something wrong because I know how to control myself. I think I'm an intelligent person. I'm a, a well-educated person. And I know that I can't go around saying certain things to certain people and doing certain things. But I'm telling you, no fuck with me, man. No fuck with me, like seriously, like for real. And that's why I live my life in a way, um, we'll be back. Um, okay. You know, I live my life in a way to where I don't get in people's way and people don't get into my way. And because I'm in the professional corporate field, you know, I have to be smart enough to know that I can't let my emotions get the best of me. Right. And I have to go out for a run 
to prevent myself from punching somebody in the face sometimes. But I'm telling you, I am pretty chill, but I do take a really deep breath because I don't want to go to prison either. <laughs> exactly, Rose. Exactly. And sometimes I feel myself tightening up and you just have to relax and do that and take a deep breath, right? Um, to get the product, you go to my website. Um, go to my website. It's Barrett, B-A-R-R-E-T-T -T, dot fitness. So do the www.barrett.fitness. You'll see a picture of me laying down in a blue, you know, my belly out or whatever. Yeah, it's me. Um, and get or click on the link in my bio and you can get it as well. Thank you, Mahi. Um, but the point I'm going to make, Mahi, um, as we say, don't let me mad. Let me see what it say. Don't let me mad head take me. No, make me mad head take me. It's not even funny because I think it's something in the water that we drink, right? But you have to find things, you guys, that's going to like, I think I was telling my mom this and you know, we, well, my mom and my sister and I, we had a pretty intense conversation the other day and some things came up, you know, just like, okay, why you were this way? Why you, you know, as a child, you did this or that or whatever, right? And she had a rough childhood. My mother did. And you know, I didn't have a rough childhood, but now I understand why she she did some of the things that she did but you can't let your circumstances control your emotions you can't let your circumstances prevent you from being successful because if i act the way i want to act sometimes would nobody hire me right but i have to understand that not because i'm from a culture where you know it's hot Something you just feel like mud and you know, that's our culture in Jamaica. It's just always go, 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 right? Most of us are poor, right? We come from a third world country. We didn't have all the opportunities or whatever. So you can't let those things dictate you, make you angry, make you mad, you know, hold you back from certain successes. We're in a whole other part of this conversation now, you guys, right? And find something, right? Yeah, hothead, true words, right? Find something that's going to control that. For me, it's running, right? That's one of the things that just gets me. It hurts. And half the time, I ask my honey, if we were out there running, I'm complaining that I, what the hell? Six miles? Eight miles? You're in a half marathon? 13 miles? Why the heck would you do that? It's good for my mental health. I feel good about myself when I do it. And I feel like want to order, but the website is giving me problems. Um, what exactly? The link is in my bio, honey. Click on my image right here. Click on my image again. Right above all my videos, you'll see ZEZ -E Barrett Fitness. Click on that. And it will click on that and it will take you straight to get it. Mine is Reiki and Aromatherapy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, okay. I don't know. What's R E I? What's Reiki? Reiki. Yeah, but aromatherapy. Yeah, that doesn't really do anything for me. But, you know, a lot of people it work for. You know, just to get for me, even like mint tea, I guess it's kind of like, you know, like inhaling mint inhaling mint when i make mint tea and ginger tea just those smells just really work for me for me it's working out and walking there you go lady right um a hobby called me mad woman <laughs> but i thought he was jamaican too <laughs> i'm telling you man there's something with us jamaican and as bad as i think i am my sister i feel bad for her husband everything crystal were to oh, okay energy healing crystals yeah Right and right and so just find whatever it is that works for you. Right at nighttime, sometimes I have to listen to something, and it doesn't matter what it is to take my mind away from thinking. I'm a type A personality as well, you guys. So I'm a perfectionist. I want certain things to be a certain way, but I have to know this world is not surround. Uh, this uh, the world does not revolve around me. I have to find a way to fit into the world with my personality, with my my past, with the way I was raised, with the culture that I came from. I am a Jamaican in America. I have to adapt to Americans. Whether you all want to, um, love your enthusiasm. <laughs> Thank you so much. Whether you guys agree with me, yes or no, right? If I come to America, I have to adapt. A part, big part of my culture is going to be right here with me, right? Maybe I'm still hot-headed, but my no, me can't say certain things, right? I know I have to live my life in a different type of way because I choose to be in these people's country. So I have to adapt to it, right? And one of the ways that I adapt is go run. <laughs> I'm just saying. Because, of, you know, it's a difference in culture. Um, um, do what the Americans do. In right, you have to kind of follow suit. But I'm still not going to forget about my culture, right? I still love cook with curry. I still talk Jamaican whenever my head take me, 
you know, but I know that I have to speak American or speak proper English so people can understand what I'm saying because I made the choice to come to this country. Otherwise, me can't take my backside, go back and me yada, Jamaica and go struggle, right? The opportunities is not there. Like, I, I am so proud of my own product right here, you all. Maybe if I was back home in Jamaica, I wouldn't have the opportunity to do that, to where I can share this wealth of information, to where I can get, a, I got a free college education in this country, when we couldn't get to Jamaica, if we come to America, forget, right? So these are the things I'm saying. Just give your whole life, give your life an opportunity to be the best that you can be. Curry gravy at the best. I love curry. Curry, curry, curry. Oh, thank you so much, Linda. I appreciate it. I love curry, right? I love my, oh, thank you so much, Ivory girl. Love my Jamaican culture. But I've been in America for over 20 years and I love my the parts, the things that I've learned from America, right? From the US of A. In my opinion, y'all can't agree or disagree. To me, this is the greatest country in the world. You know, it's a whole different conversation. I know what we're talking about. I live here. I choose to be here. So I have to agree with and adapt to that. Um, advantages of turmeric. Okay, so we're on a whole different conversation. We're talking about mental health, you all, right? We're talking about mental health. Don't come at people in country and come do whatever you want to do and then get deported and go back home. Take advantage of the opportunities that you don't, we didn't have back home, right? That's all I'm saying. Just take advantage of it. Put yourself in a situation where you can be as happy, right? Me, just even coming out with this product is me living a part of the American dream. And it's not that big of a deal. Don't get me wrong. I'm not making millions of dollars off of this. I'm just, I haven't even broke even yet, but it's only a week, Right? So I'm just saying, just, right, just you come when you, especially you come from Ethiopia, you're born and raised in Ethiopia, Mahi, right? It's living a piece of the American dream. I love simple. I live in a, we live in a small condominium, right? Because I want to have a quality of life where I can go out and buy a big house if I want to, but I don't want to do that. For who? For the Joneses? This is good for our mental health. My honey and hi, the way we move around each other, we were just talking about that the other day, is good for our mental health. We live our life for us, right? I, ex thank you, Linda. Try to be humble. Try to be humble. And that is another thing that works for my mental health as well, right? So, you know, you know, Huffy agree with me. You know, thank you for agreeing with me. <laughs> uh, born in Ethiopia, raised here 35 years, right? Right? So, you know, as much as we have our cultures from wherever we're coming from, even say you live in Alabama, you're from Alabama and you move to California, you have to go adapt. That's true. Americans is the greatest country. Of course it is. Agree if you don't. Yes or no. I don't really care. That's just how I feel. I came here to this country and got a free education. I came here to this country and was able to um, to post educate myself post my collegiate, right? Post collegiately. All this nutrition stuff, I didn't learn in college. I went to college for um, hotel management. And that's what I live off of. That's what afford me to, you know, be able to even do stuff like this. That is paying for this. And I'm saying if I was back home in Jamaica in my third world country, come from a poor family, I may not have had the opportunity to. And just the thought of these things and being grateful is good for my mental health. You know, I know. I know this conversation is on a whole to another topic or whatever. But that's just how I feel about life. Just about life in general. Make the best of what you have. But if you, there's something out there you need, go for it. Fight, push, do what you got to do to go for it and find a balance. It's time to go. Find a balance in your life, right? And that's going to just help with your mental health. Eat foods that are good for you. Add turmeric to your diet to help with that inflammation. Opportunities are here. Make the use of it. There you go, right? Um, you're doing amazing. Thank you, Mahi. I appreciate that. And then I have people like you guys who come on here and encourage me because y'all think I'm inspiring you. Y'all are inspiring me. That's just all I'm saying. Y'all are inspiring me. It's a pleasure listening to you. I can't wait, wait to the free smoothie book. Um, the smoothie book is not free, honey. You have to order it. Um, it's five dollars. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah. So thank you guys for joining. I just got the signal again. You know, I could stay on here and talk all night. Well, my honey, no. Thank you, Mahi. We got to get our rest and we both got to be up early in the morning. And if I don't sleep, I will get a headache, you know. So thank you, Irie. You know, about to die. Let me see, Irie. 
um yeah so okay but thank you guys if you're not following go follow me go over to youtube you guys i'm on youtube barrett nutrition i'm on instagram barrett nutrition um you know signal from hobby yeah that i gotta go because mahi i've been on here over an hour you were late mahi um so good night pauline good night winnie um thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and thanks for in indulging me ordering now all three 